Okay, so now we're moving on to the next section, which is subspaces, and this is chapter 4.3. And what is a subspace? Well, you can think of subspace as a smaller vector space contained within a larger vector space, okay? And we're not gonna get too much into the details of what a subspace is, so that's all you have to think about for this video. And what we're gonna do then is determine if certain sets are a subspace of a larger vector space. So let's start then. Uh, let's consider this following set. So let V be Pn. So this is all polynomials of degree n or less. And let W equal set of all odd polynomials. Polynomials in Pn. So we want to show if W is a vector space. So uh, is W a vector, uh, a subspace of V? And we know that V is a vector space. So V is going to be given as the vector space. So V is a vector space. Okay, so we know V is a vector space. We want to show that W is a subspace. But what are the three things that we need to show for subspaces? Well, the first thing is closed under addition. So say I have P1, P2, and W, all right? I need to show that P1 plus P2 is also in W, okay? So want to show P1 plus P2 is in W as well, okay? And what is an odd polynomial? Well, an odd polynomial means that uh, P of negative X is equal to negative P of X, okay? So this is the definition of odd polynomial. And how do I show this? Well, okay. If we take P1 plus P2, all right, and we apply it to negative X, then I want this to be equal to negative P1, negative P1 plus P2 apply to positive X, okay? So I wanna show if this relationship is true or not. So I have P1 plus P2 applied to negative X, and what is that? Well, that's the same thing as P1 applied to negative X plus P2 applied to negative X, all right? which is then negative P1 of X minus P2 of X, which is negative P1 of X plus P2 of X, which equals negative P1 plus P2 of X. So it is closed under addition, all right? Uh, the second thing we want to show, so it's probably is better to use this type of numbering, is it's closed under scalar multiplication. Okay, and so that means I want CP1 of negative X to equal negative CP1 of positive X. And so CP1 of negative X is equal to well, P1 of is equal to C times P1 of negative X, which is negative P1 of X, which is equal to then C P1 or negative C P1 of X. Okay? And so therefore C C P1 is in W. Okay, and up here this says that P1 plus P2 is in W because of the above equality. All right, so I've shown, I've shown it's closed under addition. I've shown it's closed under scalar multiplication. And so the last thing I wanted you to show is that zero is in W. Well, that's true because if P of X, let's say P of X is equal to zero for every X, then P of negative X is equal to zero and negative P of X is also equal to zero. So yes, zero is in W as well. And that shows that it's a subspace. Okay, so this is how you show subspaces. You need to show closed under addition, closed under scalar multiplication, and that zero is in the subspace. And so how does this differ from vector spaces? 
this is different from vector spaces because in this case you know that w is inside of a larger vector space so w is inside v okay and you're given that v is already a vector space v is already a vector space so that means to show that w is also a vector space and since w is inside v right remember a subspace is just a smaller vector space inside a larger vector space then to prove that w is a subspace and hence a vector space we only need to show these three things because we already know it's contained inside a larger vector space so all of the other properties like associativity of addition commutativity distributivity those get inherited from the larger from the bigger vector space v by w okay and to show that something is outright a vector space so you don't know that this set is contained in a larger vector space in that case then you have to show all 10 properties when you're for sure that it's not contained in something larger that's already a vector space okay so again the difference in short w is contained in a vector space but in the previous videos in 4.2 those sets are not necessarily contained in another vector space and so that's why you have much less work to show with w being a subspace